Good... Good day. Good morrow, Jared Pollan, fronosphoto.com. That's me. So, I am going to unbox my Amazon... Almost dropped it. And almost stabbed myself with a, a knife. No, a uh, scissors. That wouldn't be good. Unboxing what came from Amazon. So, I haven't opened it yet. We're going to open it right now and see what wonderful thingy thingy is in here today. I should get a fro pick uh, razor or something. All right. There is air. Trying to sniff test the air. It's kind of like in space balls when they're, you know, breathing air out of a can. It smells like wood chips, actually. There's more air, but then there is a box. Let's see what is in this box. So I like this packaging better than putting things in, in something else. So it's a Western Digital box. And there is a hard drive. I will show you what it is. I don't want to take it out of its bag yet. Uh, two terabyte. My first two terabyte drive I've ever had. Um, I have a bunch of 1.5 terabyte drives. This is going to be the backup, the fourth backup. I have three redundant backups of everything that I use a, a program called Retrospect on the PC that creates and verifies each backup. So it makes sure that everything was written properly before it, it finishes the whole copy um, so that it has exact duplicates of all my files. I have uh, on my server, I have um, three one and a half terabyte drives and three one terabyte drives. So, you know, I have almost two terabytes of data over the past five uh, actually, it's close to six years now, and obviously, at 25 megabytes a shot, uh, the more the more I shoot now, the the quicker those terabytes are going to fill up. I used to back up to uh, uh, <laughs> lasers. I almost said laser discs. I used to back up to DVDs because you could store 4.7 gigs of data on it. But now that's nothing when you're shooting 16 gigs, 20 gigs at a time. It would take too long to do that. So this drive is going to get dropped in one of my external eSATA docks copy everything on it that I have, and then I'm taking this, putting it back in the box, and putting it in the safe deposit box in the bank so that I have an off-site copy of everything. And then I'll grab it and make more copy, uh, you know, burn to it more. So I don't want to open the bag, but I think I could do a sniff test through it. Whoa. I think... I got it. It smells like a 1979 kid's toy. A Millennium Falcon or Millennium Falcon with Han Solo. But to verify, I've got it even better. Check this out. I have a 1979 Millennium Falcon. So let's smell it. And we'll see what it smells like. Smells like afterburner dust. No, no, not really. You know what it smells like? It smells like a Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive that didn't exist yet. Um, but that's what it smells like. So yeah, it's verified. The um, Millennium Falcon and the Western Digital 2 terabyte drive both smell the same. So that's the unboxing of my Western Digital 2 terabyte drive and sniff test where we discovered that it smells just like a 1979 Millennium Falcon uh, toy. So that's about it. I will be doing a, a full-on explanation of how I back everything up and how you, without a server, can do backups to make sure that you are redundant. You need no less than two backups, everybody, because it's not a matter of if it happens. It's a matter of when your hard drive crashes and you lose everything. Be prepared before it happens. That's it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com.